This is the Artillery Genius Pro. It's a great printer at a great price of about $349. Really impressed with this machine and excited to tell you all more about it. So this is the Artillery Genius Pro and it is a great budget machine uh, that was sent to me by Artillery and this review is my own opinion and uh, I want to talk to you about this machine and how happy I am with this machine. So first off, out of the box it is really easy to assemble. When you pull it out of the box there are four screws that are held in place by washers so that they don't fall out. You just screw those into the base here, very quick and easy. A couple of plugs to plug in and away you go and you're ready to go so i am really happy with the way this machine was so easy to assemble and straight out of the box we started to print really great prints i'll get to the print shortly this machine has a, a direct extruder that goes directly into a e3d volcano hot end and it's a titan type extruder does a great job and what i love about direct drive printers and they the print heads is that you can print multiple materials such as uh, pet cheese and, and PLA and also flexible materials. Pl pr printing a flexible material through a Bowden tube has always been difficult and it's not an easy process. With this direct extruder that will make the process a lot easier. I will admit I have not printed any flexible ex uh, filaments yet through this extruder or through this printer because I don't have any at the moment I will get some shortly and I will do a review on that printing of flexible material and of course with a direct head extrusion this machine is well made it is really a great machine I love the way it's been put together uh, one of the odd things about it is this whole top section here is plastic it is uh, extruded plastic so um, I'm just a little bit unsure why they replace those uh, not having metal, but it still works well. It's very sturdy, it holds sturdy, and it is great. Um, the, the, the Volcano head here is PTFE tube aligned, well lined. So I don't recommend going above in any temperature of about 240 degrees Celsius. You want to keep your prints around maximum 240. So that'll give you your pet G's, your PLAs, and uh, your flexible materials will be able to print quite easily through there at those temperatures. It has a great build plate. I really like the build plate. Um, it's a 220 volt, which means that it heats up really, really quickly. There is a 110 volt version, or uh, when you switch to the back here, it should switch. And I think it's a, it's a great, it's great to have it as 220 volt because it heats up so quickly. It takes under a minute for this to get to temperature, which is really awesome. It usually beats the extruder getting to its temperature and the bed, the bed is already heated up. And uh, I love the way it, how quickly it heats up. But here is my first negative for this printer. This build plate here at the top here is a glass build plate, but it is not removable. So there's no clips holding on. It is actually glued on, which I don't like. Um, I I love printing my PLAs and that on glass, directly on glass. I have not got that option here. I will test and try in a future video to clip a glass bed onto here and see how well the heat transfers through there. But I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't make this removable uh, with the, the glass plate. If something happens to it, if the surface gets damaged, I'm not exactly sure how you would replace it. And, but I am going to test with putting my own clipped on glass on here and try that out. I'll bring that to you in a future video. There's an auto lead bed leveling. Oh, actually, let's talk about this first. This is the little bag that it comes with. So it's got a little tool bag. Um, I think it's just, it just gives a little bit more professionalism. It makes it as, as though you're getting a more, a higher quality machine. Okay. And it comes with a set of tools. So roller replacements, a nozzle replacement, which I think is amazing that I haven't seen many printer come to roller replacements. And also, where's that spanner now? There we go. They give you a proper spanner, not one of those horrible cutout. This is a decent quality spanner. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's nice to have a decent quality spanner that works. Right, so that's the little bag with all the tools in it. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great addition. It's really neat. I also want to admit another little problem I had with this printer. When it arrived here, the touch screen was not working. So uh, the screen was coming on, but when I touched the certain parts, it wasn't registering my touches. 
and it seemed to be registering in the bottom corner here a whole bunch of touches on its own. So it was just registering touches and changing between menu settings. I brought this to Artillery's attention and they immediately, within a week, I had a replacement uh, screen all the way from China to South Africa. I had a replacement screen and there was no fuss, no arguments. They sent me a replacement screen, I popped it in and it worked like a charm. So it works really well. The only problem I have right now is that it is in Chinese, not in English, and I have to flash the firmware to update that. But I thought rather than flashing it right now, I will flash it in the future and I will do a video on how to flash it. This machine is extremely easy to flash. Uh, it's got a 32-bit Ruby board, which looks like it has been designed by Artillery. It's their own board uh, with silent drivers. And when I say silent drivers, this machine prints really quiet. It's great to have it running in the background of my office. It just prints quietly, no dis disruptions, no loud. Even the fan, this is the loudest part of the whole printer. And that fan is even really, very, very low. So there's no loud noises. And I really enjoy that. At the back here, we've got two Z motors uh, that have got two lead screws and there's a timing belt between them to bring them into alignment. And what another addition here is that these Z screws have an adjustment at the back here so you can adjust the offset a little bit to get everything aligned 100% correct. It is an auto leveling system, so you can use the knobs to align the bed initially. Uh, there's menu settings to go in and align your, your bed and then it will do a probe and just check out your alignment as well. And the probe does a great job and most of my prints have stuck really well. Now, I have printed on this print, I've printed uh, PLA and PETG. I have to dial in my PETG a bit. I had a bit of a problem, it came loose and this is the disaster that happened. Unfortunately, it all went in behind the, uh, the silicon head protector here and that all crept up inside there and made a heck of a mess. It took me a while to clean it and uh, I haven't tried PETG again. I will be trying that again shortly and looking at maybe just getting a bit a little bit more uh, closer to the to the, the the print nozzle a little bit closer to the bed. There is Z adjustment so while you are printing you can bring your Z down by 0.025 uh, increments to get it closer to the to the uh, the, the uh, build plate as as you can. You can now just drop that down by little increments as you try putting your first layer on you can do micro adjustments which is a really nice feature and nice to have that in the software. Let us get to the prints. So I took this out of the box, I put it together and I did my first print without, I, I leveled the bed, okay, and then I did my first print, it did the auto leveling, and this cube here, that is the, the test print uh, that is on the SD card over here, I'm oh, sorry, not the SD card, the USB drive, this came out gorgeous. Look at that, I'm just going to put it onto my rotary, and look at that, it is gorgeous, it is really a beautiful clean print. And was it fast? It really printed fast. This was I was so surprised at how well and how quickly this printed out. So of course, after doing the cube, which is their test, I had to do a Benchy, and Benchy came out absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've got no complaints about this. It really came out well. I printed this in SA filament, so I put the SA filament PLA plus here in white, and I printed that out. Then. I wanted to, I had found a new STL for my hammers, to hold my hammers. He has a picture of my tool wall with all the hammers being held up by four of these. I have printed five because I have my five hammers I want to put up on my tool wall. And this print came out absolutely gorgeous. I've had no issues. I've printed five of these one after another and had absolutely no issue. I am a little bit skeptical sometimes about the sticking on the on the first layer, so I do watch the first layer go down and make sure that that is right because I had one that came off as well. But uh, as long as you make sure it is correct on the first layer, I do a little bit of Z adjustment, I get it spot on. So really pleased about how well these prints come out, and the printer just chugs along and works really, really well. On the printer, we've got this spool holder at the top here. In the and the standard Genius version, you've got the two bearings on either side and you adjust the width here to get your, your spool on. With the, with the Pro, it's got this bar that goes in between here that hooks onto those bearings and this freely rolls and your, your uh, spool unwinds here beautifully. It is beautiful to have it up top here. I've always loved that. It's got a really great filament runout detector that works really well. And then it comes directly into your extruder here and away you go printing. I'm really pleased with this setup. Um, it, it's just working so well 
and I've had no issues. I've just, I'm, it's such a great printer. I really, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed working on this printer because it just is hassle free. Out of the box, it started printing. We got the, the uh, it, it all assembled and I printed this straight away with no issues. So besides the screen having a problem, which I think is a very rare occurrence, I have a feeling that it was very badly ha handled by FedEx because the box was a little bit damaged and this had obviously been thrown around or dropped or something like that and that caused a small problem on the touch. But that was quickly resolved and now that I've got that resolved, it is really working perfectly. So uh, guys, I'm really impressed with this printer. Oh, another thing that I really like, at the back here, I'll take a, a photograph. At the back here, they've got this ribbon cable that goes onto the, uh, onto the build plate. And it's got a little channel here that that ribbon cable moves in as this moves backwards and forwards. And that makes such a difference. It is so, uh, there's no strain on the cable. The cane is, cable is well guided. It's just a great, I think it's a great uh, addition to this whole printer. You've also got an SD slot here, which you can add your uh, files to, but I'm just using the USB drive that was uh, provided with the printer. Uh, pop my SCLs on there, or my G-code, and away I go and I print. So guys, go out and have a look at this printer. Go look at Genius's uh, Wallet Tillery's site. Have a look at their, their uh, printers. This is a really great quality, really easy to use. I think this is a great for a beginner user. It's very quick and easy to set up. You do a bed level, which you can watch this video here to see how to level a bed. And it's very easy to set up and get started and printing immediately. And if you just look at these prints, they're beautiful. They really have come out well. I have not done any tuning or playing around or fiddling with this machine. Out of the box, we just printed beautifully. So guys, go check out Artillery. Thank you, Artillery, for sending me this unit. But I just want to remind you that even though they sent me this unit, unit for review, this is my own opinion. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Uh, if there's any videos that you've watched on my channel that have helped, hit that thanks button. It really helps the channel and helps us uh, to, to get more equipment and make the, these videos better and make this whole channel better. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Uh, I don't know about you guys in South Africa, we've lost the mask. We don't have to wear our masks out anymore. So praise the Lord for that. And I'm really pleased I don't have to wear my mask. But if you uh, are in a country where COVID is still, be safe and uh, have a great day and God bless. Thank you for watching.